guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is wabosha if you're new here and i'm going to try and keep today's video as short as possible so let's get right to it the first item on my natural hair favorite list is this shampoo right here and this is a kids detangling shampoo by miyadi and i do love it so much it claims to gently cleanse your hair and lock in moisture and i do believe that this is true because i do have colored hair and i don't use any shampoo that's specifically for colored hair because i think this works great my hair is natural so it's very important to have something that is detangling that just makes it so much easier because my hair is naturally very very hard like so the detangling part of this shampoo really does help the other thing is that it's gentle for my colored hair so it doesn't strip it off of its moisture because colored hair is usually very dry so this shampoo does it for me so the next two items on my list are conditioners and if you have natural hair then you know that you cannot survive a wash day without conditioners they're just so important so the first conditioner that i have is this one and this one is by vo5 and one that i have is a blackberry sage t1 i really do love vo5 conditioners they smell great and they have a lot of sleep which is wonderful if you like especially detangling in the shower but the one thing that i don't like about the vo5 conditioners is they can be a bit pricey and they go for around i don't know 800 shillings correct me if i'm wrong which for a conditioner i personally think is a bit on the higher side so that is why i have this second conditioner right here and this one i've not yet even opened it it's a new one this one is the alberto baslam i think that's how you say it i really do hope i've not butchered that name and i have the one in mango and passion fruit and i really really do like this and in case you have not noticed uh they are both made by the same company so they say that this one is a cheaper version of this other one but to be honest they both work the same way they both smell great and have a lot of sleep so i definitely recommend this one as a cheaper option so the next two items that i have are deep conditioners which are again incredibly incredibly important for natural hair especially if your hair is colored like mine you need to make sure that the hair is always kept moisturized so that you can avoid breakage so the two deep conditioners that i have are these ones and they are both from miyadi and one is a cholesterol treatment and the other one is a protein treatment just in case you don't know the difference a protein treatment is meant to strengthen your hair and this one is for moisture it basically puts moisture in your hair and you're not supposed to use a protein treatment as often as you use uh, the moisturizing treatment just because protein treatments tend to make your hair very hard like in after you use this protein treatment you will feel that your hair feels a lot more stronger than it was before the treatment so it does work and i just want to put it as there protein treatments should be used you know at most once per month so don't overdo the protein treatment or it will go south so the next two items that I have are these ones from Cantu and the first one is a leave-in conditioning cream. It says that it repairs hair breakage, leaves hair soft and manageable and the second one is a coconut curling cream. It defines and moisturizes dry damaged hair and both of these uh, products are sulfate, silicon and parabens free. So they are very good for natural hair and this is what, that I, this is what I use to moisturize my hair after a wash day. And I usually use the LCO method to moisturize and that just stands for leave-in cream and then an oil. And the oil that I use is this one. This is my favorite one to use. And it's basically just the Moroccan argan oil. I don't talk too much about it because I know it's not available locally. But it's just argan oil. You can get argan, eh, argan oil anywhere. I just like it because it smells so nice. And also these two products smell so so nice every time uh, that i put this on and then i go and hug someone they're like oh my god your hair smells nice this right here is the secret to it y'all already know it will not be our bosch's favorites video if there is no rose water i think i've mentioned this before but this is what i use to spritz my hair if you have natural hair then you know you constantly need a spray bottle and you you need to be spraying your hair just to wet it and make it a bit more manageable so i usually use rose water instead of normal water and i just put it in a spray bottle and i use that spray all over my hair rose water has a lot of benefits and i do have a video called um i think seven ways to use rose water if you want to know the benefits of rose water on hair 
then it's on that video the next item that i have is this right here and i know you all are probably wondering wabasha what is that so this is coconut oil and it's in this applicator bottle because i don't think i have any left in the the jar that it comes in but i usually buy the small one from kentis it's like pure coconut oil that you can use to even cook and it goes for about 300 shillings for that jar so this is what uh, i put it in i just use this applicator bottle and this is the applicator bottle that comes in the dyed hair so that's where i got this bottle from and i just melt the coconut oil put it in this bottle and when i want to reuse it i just warm it warm it up but i'm so lazy that i can't go get like hot water to put it in and then wait for it to warm so when i want to warm it up i just like put it here <laughs> and then it it melts and i use it on my hair so this is great and i like especially using coconut oil as a pre poo treatment so last but definitely not least is about my hair color and i do get so so many questions about what dye that i use and this right here is what i use to color my hair and this is the cream of nature hair dye in the shade honey blonde and i really do like it very much it doesn't damage my hair i don't have any complaints my hair doesn't break off or anything like that the only thing is that my hair will feel dry after which is very common with colored hair so you just have to make sure that you moisturize your hair properly and inside you can see this is the bottle of developer or at least what's left of it and this is what i usually use uh, as my applicator bottle once the hair dies over i just rinse it off well and use it for my oils so at the back it even shows you uh what color you should expect your hair to look like so if your hair was this light brown it will get to that color this color to that color and this other color to this other color the only thing that i should mention is that my hairdresser does put something into the hair dye i don't know what she puts but it just helps the the color show up brighter like my hair is clearly black so my hair dye is supposed to show up as this color but instead i usually get that color right there so i don't know what she adds but whatever she does add just makes my hair look popping because i usually want you know, to have that hair color for when someone sees me from so far they're like highlight popping hair popping so she does that for me and i'm very grateful actually can't believe i'm already done like that was incredibly fast but anyways i really hope that you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every mondays and thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye